Ask the Global Guard series, where you get to submit your questions on international business and we answer them. Today's question is coming from Nigeria, and the question is about labeling food products. So the que question is, what should I put on the food products that I actually are sending in? I'm Sebu Badaki, and I'm the Global Girl. So when you're going to be importing products into the United States and you're starting to do your labeling, the first thing you want to think about, and this is not just um, going into the U.S., but just anywhere is, if you're going to have various sizes, make sure your branding um, is actually going to fit several sizes. So you don't want to make have uh, 18 ounces, and then if you do four, 24 ounces, then all of a sudden that you actually have to change um, the labeling. So make sure that your labeling is consistent and it's very clear no matter what size that you actually have to put your product in. The other thing is when you're talking about food, things, words like dried, canned, frozen, frozen fresh, they're very particular about those particular words. If something is in a can, it has to say that it's canned. You cannot um, say that something is fresh and then put it inside a can. If something, if you want to say it's frozen fresh, then you have to be able to demonstrate that it was actually fresh before you um, freeze it. So these are just some of the things that you also want to be concerned with. Also, we like to see take-home instructions on those labels. And that means that once I buy this product in the grocery store, and um, I take it home. How do I maintain it? Do I keep it frozen? Do I keep it refrigerated? It needs to be room temperature. And so these are the kind of instructions that you also want to put on your label as well. And then the last one is the, del the daily value. And, th and this is um, kind of talking about the ingredients and also talks about um, the different nutritions that we're supposed to be having um, every day on a 2000 um, calorie diet and then also talks about the ingredients and so your ingredients you have to list the one that's the most first and then goes this descending order and then also your daily value has to show out of each one of those ingredients what it is and then the one that shocks us all serving size you have to include serving size how many times have you eaten a bag of potato chips and it's like oh that's just a bag of potato chips and you turned it over and you're like oh my gosh i just ate four servings worth so we want to know how many servings um, should be actually in that bag thanks so much for that question i'm sable badaki the global girl and if you have a question that you would like to answer on international business put it in the comments send me a message we would love it to answer for you and if you have not subscribed to our channel please go ahead and do that have an amazing day